Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Deandra. This is Rongo the Bold and we are continuing our co-op session of Seven Kings to Five. And we're being attacked by zombies. Yes. Alright, I'm going I'm going hand to hand. Oh that crawler almost snuck up on me, little punk. So we just we were, we were just coming back to the house and we stumbled across this little uh, house out here. So we're gonna loot it up. We had to kill all the zombies first, though. Yeah, they wanted a piece. Yeah, Punks. Hungry. And here's a little nursey. Give me and I'm carrying. Good. <laughs> she has nothing on her. Nothing. Uh. Oh, sir. I'll search the cheerleader. Okay, don't enjoy it too much. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> Boy, the oh, there, we are really popular right here. Well, parachillers are twins. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, these swamp creatures coming out of the swamp here. Ah, swamp creature. Frame rays. Ugh. Clean out the. Oh, my inventory is just stuffed too. Alright, I think. My inventory is pretty good. Alright, good. Well, I know there's a safe in this building, in this class of buildings, so. Cool. We'll loot it up if the frame rates will let me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice little house. I like the, uh, like the cobblestone look. Yeah. I spent uh, my first few games playing in, in uh, Navigate, I, I spent in this house. Mm. Right in that lake, uh, kind of south of... Hello there, cheerleader. Yeah, I've spent a night in this house in Navigate. Yeah. Yeah, starving. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when I first started to play, I was just like, I was just starving all the time. I couldn't, you know, or, or dying of thirst. I, could, I didn't eat. Oh, yeah. This game's got a steep learning curve. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who just got the game. And so we, we played one session co-op. And he was just like, I could tell he was not having fun because we kept dying. He he wanted to to make the server, so... He didn't change any of the settings, and it was all set on like I guess the default. But it was it was hard. We we started off in like the hub city, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm like we yeah, it was his first <laughs> game, and he's getting spit at by cops. <laughs> oh jeez. And he was like, it's kind of hard. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So we ended up uh, starting a new game because we just died and I died, just left and right, over and over, constantly. Yeah, it's just, if you're down, you're, if your wellness is down that far it, and you're just starting, it's just tough. Yeah. And, it, he, you know, he made a server and we went through the settings and we made it kind of easy because I knew he was not having fun and I needed to kind of... Let show him that the game can be fun and not yeah. too hard. And so we played on easy, and uh, he, uh, I think we'll play again. But if he doesn't enjoy the second session, he probably is not going to want to play. The game. <laughs> but he did I, say that you know now that he knows a little bit better how to play, that he, he enjoys it more. So. Good. Yeah, this is a great game. But yeah, right as of right now, right now there's absolutely no training for the game. You have to just figure it all out for yourself. Exactly. 
before I started playing it, before I bought the game, I watched videos of people playing. Um, that's how I discovered the game. So someone I was subscribed to, you know, posted a video of him playing Seven Days to Die. And it looked interesting. I started watching it. And I was hooked. And so I watched, like, all the videos that he had at the time before I bought the game and played it so that I knew how to do stuff the very first time I played. Yeah, that's the, that's the best way to do it, is to watch someone play, and hopefully they're good and actually explain things to you. Yeah, he did explain things. You know, my, my problem is that he he's mostly focused on playing other games, and so he doesn't... He might put out one Seven Days to Die video a month, if you're lucky. Oh. He just doesn't uh, you know do it much. I think in the early versions he was doing it more frequently, but not anymore. I think since Alpha 10 has come out, he's maybe posted three videos. Hmm. And it's like he posted. Yeah, the game has changed like, so much. Alpha 10 has come out, you know? And then the next video, you know, this time goes by, and, and of course, new patches come out. And he's like, then you get another video. He says, Alpha such and such has come out. Because <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't post. And so he, because he wasn't um, posting videos and I wanted to watch videos, I started looking for, for other series, and that's how I found your channel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Because you were posting, like, all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get better about that, but uh, I'm a bit of a, a overachiever sometimes. <laughs> but I'm, I'm definitely going to be slowing down. Yeah. You, you shouldn't, well, over, yeah, I wanna, you shouldn't yeah. exhaust yourself. Yeah, or my, or, or my viewers. Yeah, I know. I have not caught up with yours. I just don't have the time to watch, so I haven't caught up. Uh, maybe I will eventually one day catch up. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be slowing down. I'm, I'm only going to do, I think I'm going to do like six episodes a, um, a week. Mm -hmm. Maybe five. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'm going to start playing some other games as well, just because I enjoy playing a variety of games. Mm -hmm. So... Hopefully, my viewers will as well. <laughs> well, I watched that Don't Starve game. I watched you play that. That's a really fun game. Looks uh, I'm gonna, like it might be fun. I, I just don't know that it's for me. I, it's a, I it's a huge tried. learning curve, kind of like this game in a way. Mm -hmm. I tried playing a, a game called Salt, which is kind of like... Yeah, I've, I've got that one. Die. Yeah, but it doesn't have zombies. It has... Yeah, right. I try not to let graphics bother me too much. Yeah. But uh, the graphics are just not very good in that game yet. Yeah, I agree. And uh, but my biggest problem was that you know there I was on my newbie island and I was running around and I could pick up pieces of wood, but that was about all I could do, and I was just bored. Yeah, there's not enough content in the game yet to make it really be worthwhile. Yeah, maybe, you know, maybe later on it will be better, and I'll play it then. Yeah. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you saw the... I also did a video on a game called Subnautica. It's I an, saw those, but I didn't watch it. it yeah, it's an underwater. Of it didn't appeal to me. <laughs> yeah, it's like... It's like... Um, it's a great-looking game. I mean, really phenomenal graphics. Wow. And you're, you're on an alien world underwater. Your ship, your spaceship has crash landed, mm -hmm. and you've got to survive. It's right right now. It doesn't have any save game yet, so uh, supposedly on the fifteenth they're gonna have another update that'll give. Hello, rabbit. I just clubbed this rabbit to death. Ah. Oh, oh, hello, fatty. Oh yeah, he wants a piece. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Want your fat? Let's go and unload our bags. Yeah, because I am... Well, we're almost at the house, so... Yeah. So 
So yeah, we're gonna have to. I, I would think gear up so that we can go on a, like, on a on a much larger adventure and either yeah. go to a, a wasteland city or go into. I mean, go to the, go to a hub in a wasteland or try and just cross that burn biome. Yeah, burn biome might be the way to go. We really even lucked if we out. Can, even if we can make shotguns, we don't have much ammo because we don't got a good mining thing going yet. Uh, that's right. We had no potassium. Yeah. So we got to find... Yeah, we got to get potassium first. Uh, carts and horses and stuff. <laughs> All right. I'm going to dump this off. I, th I remember that I did find a little bit of a cliffside earlier. And I did a little bit of mining. I'm going to go see if I can find that again. Did you just go through that hatch without opening it? I opened it as soon as I reached the top of the ladder, basically. Oh, that's weird. It was so close for me. <laughs> yeah, it was just the delay in the, you know, the internet. And kind yeah. Of all right, let's see. All right. Yes. Where to put all this stuff? We must inventory. Inventory management. <sighs> okay, I'll put our SMG receiver and our sniper receiver in here. And um... nice selection of that. Hole there. Put the beer away again. Yeah, we are not having a problem at all with food. <laughs> yeah, we got lots of food. Which is good considering our, <laughs> our first uh, Yeah. Boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I found some corn also. Oh, well, uh, there's no room to plant it right now. Unless we uh, harvest, uh, maybe we could do some more um, har uh, what do you call it when you uh, till the soil mm -hmm. there's a game I will not inflict on my viewers uh -huh. um, Farm Simulator 2015 I've not played that one or even heard of it um, it is uh, let's just say it's a niche game mm -hmm. and you're a farmer mm -hmm. and you got access to all kinds of equipment you can drive all the modern farm equipment but it is not what you would call a fast-paced action-filled game yeah <laughs> probably not good for a let's play no not unless you've got extremely patient people yeah it can just take you like you know 15 minutes just to haul a load to the mill to oh drop it off goodness. But I still enjoy it. It's still kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. All inventoried up. What happened to it? I thought we had a uh, hoe somewhere. I thought we did too. <clears throat> I will make another one. Here it is. Oh, well, before I make it. <laughs> okay, I'll drop it on the ground here for you. There you go. Marvelous. All right, I'm going to run out and uh, see if I can... Oh, where'd that corn go? In the food? Um, I think I put it in the drink box. Oh, got it. Okay. I'll go ahead and plant this. Okay. 
parkour! <laughs> Alright, um... So let's extend the farm. Our potatoes are growing nicely. Good. So, subscribers, let us know what you think. Uh, should we go through the wasteland, or should we go to one of the? I mean, uh, sorry, should we go through the burn biome and try and find another? Uh, better biome beyond that, or should we risk it all and go to one of the wastelands and uh, try and loot up there? You guys let us know. Yeah, let us know what you think we should do. And then we'll pick the safer option. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call me Rongo the Timid for nothing. <laughs> Beautiful crops. Oh, our coffee is in. Yay. Replant that. Coffee, ex ex you know, it's ex exponential growth, it, but it's so it's a slow exponential growth. There we go. Ah, misplaced one of them. All right, I'm gonna run over to where I thought I was doing some mining. Okay. If I was. I thought I was doing some was it over here. Maybe it was there. Oh no, it was here. It's, that's where it was, right there. I remember it was at nightfall and I uh, almost got killed. Do I have, uh, I do have. Uh, so we can at least have ammunition for our shotguns. Mm -hmm. We got plenty of coal. Yep. What we need potassium. Yep. All right. So it's over here to the east, just north of the road. I saw a cliff face that had good stuffs. Refresh my memory. Jambe foo. Oh, I tried to hit zombie and hit the rock. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, here we go. In fact, I can see some potassium from here. Oh, no, I couldn't. It was just the way the sunlight was. Oh, yeah. I love running up to zombies and just whacking them when I get there. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yep. Got potassium nitrate already. Woohoo! Yeah, I'll pick up the zombie. So we already have enough for, for uh, 400 rounds of shotgun shells. I don't see anything else exposed. Where are you? Right oh, there here. you are. No, I was talking about the uh, zombie. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the zombie. <laughs> and you too, buddy. Hmm. Wrong go check. climber of cl cliffs. <laughs> yeah. Reminds me of Skyrim when uh, it was like, how, just how steep of a slope do you take your horse up? I find it easy to 
and I can go up steeper <laughs> cliffs with my on my horse than without being on my horse. Oh yeah. So it's like, oh, there's a cliff I can't get up. Let me get on my horse. Yep. <laughs> Have you played with any mods? For oh, Skyrim? I got, I, oh, I got all kinds of mods. Uh, I got mods of the wazoo. <laughs> <laughs> I think the most I had at one point was I had like, I think I had like 150 mods running simultaneously. I probably have that. Yeah. With all the graphics updater, all the graphics improvements, and all the sky realism mods, and mm -hmm. I really like the uh, the mods that will allow you to do like the. Frost, uh, what was it called? Real realistic needs and diseases, mm -hmm. and the uh, one where you had, and the frost, yeah, frost, whatever it was called. Yeah, I played with those. I mean, th that just makes the game so much better. Yeah. This is what we need under the house. Why can't we have this under the house? Exactly. Well, we gotta keep an eye on the time. Both session time. Oh, almost picked you. Sorry. <laughs> oh, we're just going to town now. Off, right? I think I turned it off. Um, I'm not positive though. <laughs> Friendly axing in our in our in our uh, case. Yeah. Yeah, nice vein of ore here. And the benefit is it raises the heat over here rather than at the house, I guess. So that's good. Hard working miners. <laughs> I should have brought some beer over. We, I guess we needed lead, too. I'm glad we found a nice vein of everything. I love it when you're mining and you get, you're, you're just mining for, you know, a big chunk of time and you turn around and try and leave. And you're like, okay, <laughs> how, how do we get out of here? Yeah. We're trying to make us a rant so we can get out.
I keep I forgot to have a miner's helmet on. I turn my light on. I'm sure, all my all the subscribers were like, "Turn your light on, Rongo. We can't see a thing." <laughs> Don't forget to repair your pick, either. Oh yeah, my pick is in good shape right now. I'm not gonna let this one die. So much good material. Mm -hmm. Now watch time at We should probably head back because it's almost the end of the episode as well. Yeah. What was that? Just, just one more piece. <laughs> Oops. Let me get my shovel. Beautiful. Remember where this spot is. Yeah. I cannot pass a bird's nest by. <laughs> People should be happy. I haven't been picking very many rocks up lately. <laughs> Did someone complain about that? I get a few people who make comments that I have a, ro a rock obsession. <laughs> but now that we've you know we have so much stone from the from the stone mine we have under the house yeah it's a stone mine <laughs> yeah we don't we don't have to vacuum the grass for yeah. stones now home sweet home <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and plant some more uh, okay. goldenrod here while I'm thinking about it. Ah, darn it. Yeah, we got we have we have lots of goods. Oh, look at our field! Excellent, 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 excellent. All right, I'm buttoning down the house for the night. I'll go ahead and pull the uh, the frame in. Okay. Our drawbridge, just in case. Let me give you my lead as well so that uh, 
We don't. Uh... Where's my lead? Did I say lead. I'm, I meant iron. Oh, <laughs> iron. Okay. But Here's we a... will need lead too. There's some iron. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make a lead mold. Okay. Uh, brass. I always get that wrong. All right. Some lead on. Oh, here's some coal. Oh, yeah, we, yeah. Lots of furniture to burn. Yeah, we got, we got tons of material now. Yeah. All right, friends. I think that will do it for an episode for us. So, uh, yeah, let us know what, what you guys think we should do. Should we uh, try for a wasteland city and, and see what we can find in there? Or should we try to push through a burn zone and find what lies beyond? Yeah. If you, like this, if you like this episode, go ahead and click that like button. You know, comment, subscribe, tell us what you guys like and enjoy about our series. And uh, we will see you next time. Bye. Ah.